Okay, so A-level product design uh, here at the rental followed on a lot from GCSE. Now, if you haven't done the GCSE, it doesn't matter too much um, because of the type of things that are covered. It goes over, back over a lot of old ground that you would have done in the GCSE, but it does go in significantly more depth. Um, so just kind of to take you through. So the course is still the 50-50 split, the same thing um, that you get at GCSE is what you get at A-level. So 50% is your coursework or your NEA. Design and make project literally runs again the whole length of the year. We tend to go um, April to April with it. Um, and the, I suppose the harder thing with this project compared to the others um, that you do at GCSE is that these need to be A, grander in scale, and B, there's no context given to you from the exam board. It really is based on what you want to do. Now, the scope of it is bigger. Um, so for example, you don't just have to think, oh, I need to make a product out of wood. You don't have to do that at all. You can be more graphics based if you'd like to. Um, or even you can do architectural models. Um, two of the year 12s this year, going into, or three even, going into year 13, are completing architectural models as their project. Uh, that coursework is overall slightly bigger than the GCSE. The GCSE is only 20 sheets. This one will be 30. Um, and obviously it goes into a lot more detail. The key to it as a coursework is the fact that there is an exam, um, you know, element to it as well that is 50 percent, and that exam is difficult it is a hard exam there is a lot of detail uh, there is quite a lot of maths also um, there are a couple of links here at the bottom which you can copy and, and look for and we will share with you later um, just to get a bit more of a look in detail at what is there for in terms of theory and what and also some example stuff for what um, Courseworks and stuff people have done previously. Um, going back, so we spend most of year 12, we split you and your classes. So you'll do, out of your eight lessons, you'll do five based on the design and make tasks. So improving skills, learning how to do different parts of the coursework that comes through. Um, the other three will be dedicated to theory and will run the whole length of the year. Um, it's important that we do this to cover all of the content, but it's also nice to have that split so that you know when you're with one person, what you're doing, when you're with the other person, what they're doing. Um, obviously you will have, hopefully when you come, you'll sign up and get your laptop. That'll make it a lot easier for you to write notes, keep notes and sort of move forwards through that course. Um, in terms of the sorts of things that you will cover, um, I will take you through that. In, in, in a bit about the sorts of different areas that you'll cover. I want to kind of just come out of this now and show and click on this one. And hopefully it will let me, there we are. So this is the website that you will get up when you start looking at the course and start trying to research. We've obviously got the specification. There's obviously in here some, some course materials. Um, <coughs> when, I can't, I can't see the website. Okay. There you go. You should be able to now. Perfect. So this is the yeah, so this is the website. There's lots of different things in here. Over here on the right hand side, course materials, we have some example things that you can look at. You don't need to be um, a staff member to get into these. Um, so you have the specification that's in there. We also have some sample assessment material and some sample um, courseworks. So as we go through here, this has some of the idea of what the exam paper looks like <coughs> so you can start to go through and see really what sort of questions you're going to be asked and how they are answered so we then also have um let me just get the right one 
Ethereum. So you then have in here the example coursework folder. So I'll take the architecture one and we will load this one up. So in here, you can then see what the coursework looks like. Now they're broken down into completely different sections as to what they're broken down to <coughs> in the GCSE. Um, so part one is looking at where your design comes from, like where your project's going. It's the same sort of context slide as it is at GCSE. So this one, you can tell just by looking at it straight away, it's something to do with this building, it's something to do with the site somewhere in Paris. <clears throat> then you can start to look at everything else and it will tell you the sort of more detail about the fact that they're looking at um, wanting to design and make a cafe that they're going to put on site. And this is the site here that's been located. Um, design brief, then into research. As you can see with this one, I mean, this course did get very high marks. Um, you know, again, back onto client and target market, looking and getting their feedback on everything as you go through. Um, this person then started to look at design styles and and architects, using them to come up with sustainable ideas, which obviously is very key in this day and age. Did a bit of a site analysis, had a look at an architectural model, took it apart and worked out what different areas were needed, what materials were used to make it. Then they did their final design brief and specification into designing. So when you look at designing, Okay, it's not that different to what you've done before, but it's more what we call concept designing than just coming up with multiple ideas. Okay, so it's about coming up with concepts, coming up with ideas, getting feedback, and then starting to visualize that into, into full ideas. You'll notice though on this one, this is all just this is all just concept drawing. This is all just having a play around trying to get some ideas. Then here is where the actual initial ideas start. So there's the three of them. Okay. Then they get reviewed. Uh, I've done it again where I haven't shared it with you. There we are. There you go. Now you've got it. So as we're saying here, we have sketching here. Okay. Which is just concept sketching. And then moving on to initial ideas and pushing forwards from those into three actual ideas. Now, again, like I was just saying, what you can see through here is the fact that it has clear um, and obvious feedback from the client as to what they like and what they don't like. Um, it's then reviewed again, positives, what they want to improve it, and then moving on developing it, so physical development models, and then using SketchUp, which I know our guys did for GCSE. And then just pushing all the way through, coming up with then what it looks like and what they make. So back into, get down to what it looks like. So back into what they actually then make, which is here, like a little video, like picture diary of how they made it. And then this being their final model, it's an outside and inside. Okay, so we've got that. Let me then get another one for you so we can see it's not as scary as it looks because that's a scary first one uh, to really look at. Let's share with you again. I'm hoping this one loads and I'm hoping now I can share it with you because it wasn't letting me do it earlier. There we go. So should be able to see this one, I'm hoping. Um, so this one is not architectural. This one is based on a point of sale display. Um, so researching a company, um, working out where they're in a, in a domino shop, where their 
information where their products are advertised, working out where it is and type of stuff. So it's a cutlery uh, company. So you can see here, this is the this is their products and what they're looking at um, advertising. Again, working out a bit more about where it goes, how it goes, how it looks, how it goes together, um, and then back into again detailed specification. And again, back into concept design first. So this person used SketchUp a little bit quicker. Um, so they did a design idea, then they did a SketchUp version of it, coming up with some more ideas, more SketchUp. Again, reviewing it um, against their specification and getting some feedback, then developing it further, looking then into materials, um, then starting to build what this might look like as a model, trying to work out how this whole thing fits together, talking about how they're going to build it. This is then their final sort of moving towards what their final product's going to look like with some more feedback, technical drawing, everything together. And then as we scroll through, that's their time plan. So this person went sketch up heavy rather than drawing heavy, which if that's something you prefer or you find easier, you can go with. Um, but you don't necessarily have to. Again, another sort of diary of how they make it. As it comes through. And then, as you can see here, their actual final product that they have made. And then you can see it in the shop um, with it being actually displaying what it's supposed to do and how it's supposed to work. So you can see much bigger scale actual products rather than sort of some of the desk tidies and things I know that we did uh, back at GCSE. So that's initially at what we're looking at portal wise. Now I know it looks big and I know it looks scary and it's really not that much, especially as we take you through step by step about what we do, um, just like we did at GCSE. So there's less of a, a worry for you to, to go through that. Now let's just go back here. So what do I want you guys to do? So I'm gonna set you guys up on a little challenge, um, a little design task, which you can do between now and our second session. Okay, so what I want you to do is look at orthographic drawing. So look it up if you can't remember what it is. And I want you to design a product for your room. Now, because it's your first project, I don't want us to go too big, but I want you to think about your room, think about a product in your room that would make your bedroom tidier or something you would need to use. So I'm thinking um, something we've had with last year's group like shoe storage. Um, we've had like what we call like a gadget tidy. So lots of wires and stuff can live inside one box um, and you can charge through it. Something like that for your room. Um, and basically draw it and come up with it as an idea. Um, reason is when you come in September, we're gonna look at these designs and we're gonna try and make it. And that'll be your first project is to take something that you're gonna try and design and come up with now and turn it into something you can actually make to start off with. Okay, so again, looking through, going through that process of looking at what an orthographic drawing is uh, and being able to draw it. And again, if you wanna do the third, if you wanna do a 3D drawing of it as well, you can but really just trying to think of a product that would work for your room um, that you would be able to then pick up, come into school and make. So that's what I want to set you guys off and doing. I'm gonna stop recording.